Okay guys, so I built a worm shocker. I have current to it. I get um about one nine one oh nine, one ten when I touch uh metal to metal. When I stick a probes in the ground, I get anywhere between ten to 70 and I have probed practically my entire yard and not one worm has popped up I don't know if this whole worm shocking thing is a prank or if I'm the only piece of land in America that has no damn worms it makes no sense. I'm gonna get my voltage meter so you guys can see. Oh, she locked the door. I hate when she does that. Cause I did this yesterday the afternoon, so the ground was dry and still no results. And then we about four or five o'clock. In the afternoon storm came through heavy rain uh, don't know if it lasted all night but the ground's still very wet uh, so I don't know what needs to happen bear with me I'm trying to these garage lights don't work too well. I got to do multiple up downs, up downs, and there we go. <laughs> uh, this house has electrical issues from like no other. I hope it burns it down. House is worth more burnt down than it was when I bought it. So hopefully. Got my voltage meter. <sighs> so, and I've had that in that spot probably about five minutes by now. And like I said, there hasn't been any worms. I put them in grassy green spots. I put them in this dead stuff. I put them over there. Over there, that, that's where a lot of water sits right there. I put them in bald spots where there's no, no grass. And I can't get anything to come up. So... Let me show you. Right. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this one hand. Stick that one right there. Touch that to there. I'm getting about 50 volts. 90. One. And that's me going into the ground or getting onto the actual steel because I, there's coated painting on those. So now if I go like in the middle, I'm getting like 70. I go over here. Get 95. I know back behind it. So it's like the further I'm away, the more amperage I'm getting, or voltage, however you want to call it. 
and that's plugged up to the outlet on the extension cord but I am not getting any worms to pop up y'all tell me what I'm doing wrong oh I also take uh, jumper cables I put one there one there and uh stretch out the jumper cables and I hook jumper cables to my um horseshoe rods oh hello there's one worm oh my god it worked it worked little red wiggler I don't know <laughs> all right They don't like it right there. He does not like it right there. So it does show that it does work. Because he's getting shocked like crazy. Right there. That is crazy. Out of all this area, one tiny, tiny little worm. What can I, I mean, I know there's worms in the yard. I know that because when we get heavy rain, they're up on the tarp. They're up on the concrete slab right here. I mean, they're not big ones. They're just like these. Some of them are fairly decent. But majority of them, that's what they are. But I can't get them to come up out of the ground. Like, it makes no sense. This morning, before I moved this, I had it back there hooked into uh, my pool pump outlet. I had it over there. And, uh, didn't get anything to come out. I don't know, maybe I didn't wait long enough or something. But... I don't know. I'll leave it sit there and see if I can see any more come up. They, uh, when I built this thing, I watched uh, a few how to's on YouTube. And uh, the one guy, he was a moron. He was like, he takes, he builds a nice, nifty little setup. But. He doesn't know what he's talking about when it comes to electrical and stuff like that. He takes a three-prong plug, and he says, the only prong you need to worry about is the one on the right side. This one, this prong on the left side is your ground. No dummy. The round pin, or the round prong, in the middle on the bottom is the ground the other top two are your hot and your neutral knowing this I was like all right well how in the heck is he wiring his thing up because he takes one solid wire and he runs it kind of like what I did with mine I got a wire running through the PVC pipe wrapped around each prong and um had a little tail end sticking out and i took uh, i think black's neutral white's hot so i took the black wrapped it around the prongs that come out of the pvc and i was like well i can't use if i just use one wire you're not going to get no current and i was like let me test it out so i did that had no current to had current going through the drop cord but no current to the prongs i was like all right that's what i figured so i was like well i don't think you can take both wires and stick them on the same wire because it's going to cause a spark and it's going to trip i was like i don't know i'm not an electrician i am a welder but i'm not an electrician so i tried it wrap both of the wires on that one wire going to all the prongs and sure enough, zap, 
and trip breaker. Took the wires off. I was like, all right. So there's got to be, the hot wire has to be completely separate. So I took that wire and I just found a uh, cheap fire poker that I had when I bought my little cheap ass uh, fire pit and cut the prongs off on the fire poker and just made a little stake out of it, wrapped the hot wire around that, taped it. Now I got a separate line and now it works. That's how it's done. And this guy doesn't even show you the wiring process in his video. He just takes, um, he just shows you how he builds it. He threads uh, quarter inch rods and puts nuts and bolts on them, puts them through PVC and makes little PVC handles out of it and shows you how to run the wire through the PVC and how to splice the wires together, yada, yada, yada. But he doesn't show you the wiring to the plug. He skips that totally. And next thing you know, he takes you outside and he's sticking it in the ground. He's pulling up worms. So, people like that kind of piss me off when they half-ass a video. They leave out the most important details to the videos. So, I kind of wanted to beef that up a little bit and tell you how I did mine. And I was planning, I did try to put silicone all the way through. That way it holds everything together, but that way nothing comes loose. But it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. It just kept oozing out the top and I take a little putty knife and smush it down in there and after a bottle and a half, I just gave up and said screw it. I just capped the ends off. That way water don't get in it. So I left it like that. I'm gonna take this little wormy and put them in a the little coffee can. If I can find one more, I can start breeding them. I don't know if he's going to last, but mm, that's a start. So, it is what it is. I will put in, uh, if I get any more, if I get a lot more, I will upload another video and share it with y'all. If not, it is what it is and it works you just got to have the worms there so if there's something that i could do that can attract worms to my yard let me know because i mean we're on clay the clay is fairly shallow i mean there's very little topsoil around i mean i could barely like you see how high those prongs are and I put all my weight on that to push them down some spots are softer than others like this side over here when I bought this house I put all brand new dirt and I had a big trench right here because they don't have gutters on the house so there was a big trench going from here all the way to the AC unit so I filled that all up all the way down to the other side of the house and drug it out that way so it slope I was planning on doing this side too because see how that's even that's not so much I was starting to do this other side when the second truck came but the dirt guy brought me clay instead of sand or good dirt packing dirt he brought me freaking clay so I ended up having to use that elsewhere which kind of pissed me off and good thing for my neighbor because I started spreading out right here and my neighbor comes over he said oh no you do not want to use that you do not want to use that you will I was like okay I believe you so I stopped doing that and I just I got a little trench going all the way across there i mean it was deep I, I actually took all that dirt and 
filled that in all in in front of that hill right there I, had, I got a trench I had a trench there and there's a trench on the other side so I had filled all that in all the way down past behind that shed and that's what I did with the dirt 150 bucks wasted I mean it was 20 yards so it ain't bad but it still kind of pissed me off he didn't bring me what I wanted what he knew I need wanted so it is what it is but like I said I'll upload some more videos if I get some more worms